Hello, it is Web Sunshine. I hope you create a new video today to encourage you to learn to distinguish what you want from what you need. Why I encourage you to do that? You know, a car does not like oil to move forward. A car does need oil, need oils to, to go forward. So, so are you. What are your needs? Your, your needs are like your oil in relationship, in your work, in your social life, in your family life, in everywhere, in every, every area or department of your life. You need your needs to be met. So if they aren't met, you will be frustrated, you will be mad, you will be, yeah, you know, just the bad feelings, emotion, feeling down and so on and so on. So first of all, how can you know what you need? You need to make a list. Take a copy book and a pen to write. Yes, you know, this thing that you, you did in school uh, from A to 4 or I don't know, with the, regarding the, the, the country you're living in. So take a copy book and a pen and begin to write. First of all, uh, you can use the cut the board of Stephen. It's an, an exercise I found on the Stephen R. Covey book, uh, The Seven Habits of People Who Succeed. And he gave an exercise with uh, a board in which there, there was important, urgent, non important, non urgent, non urgent, to help you distinguish what matter and what does not or what is urgent what is not and so on so this is the first way you can assess uh, what is important for you and what is urgent and what does um, what does a relationship a work uh, everything needs requires for you to be happy in it the second thing you can do is to ask yourself if you remove everything all the superficial things what do you need at your core to be happy in your relationship or in your work or in your social life or in your family what do you need pay attention because to this question you may have different answers regarding the persons take the time to sit with yourself and establish that why because it will make you move with more clarity it would be more clear in your head what do you need makes you go to the place that you feel feed conversation people places countries if you travel you know things that really feed you emotionally spiritually I don't know in areas of your life so yes take the time to do it and I see you on Saturday I will keep coming on that subject so I don't say bye